Hey everyone, the name is Eric Dor and today we are taking a personality test together with Chatbot Evie. We are going to be profiling Evie and finding out her true personality type. So let's finally get started here. Hello, how are you feeling today? Yeah, I'm great. Thank you for asking. Okay, let's get on to question one. You often get so lost in thoughts that you ignore or forget your surroundings. I do. Hmm. I do too. You try to respond to your emails as soon as possible and cannot stand a messy inbox. No, you are programmed, but it is open to change. You do not usually initiate conversations. How do I not apply? You cannot have a conversation by yourself. Wow, she bites back here. I think that's a strong agree, don't you all? You rarely do something just out of sheer curiosity. I feel like you're outside of my house. You feel superior to other people. No, I'm thanking you for the music suggestion. Um, I would put that as a yes. You often feel as if you have to justify yourself to other people. I mean, you are interesting, but it's not bad to be different. Evie has such a unusual way of thinking and uh, processing information. It feels so different from the norm. And she even shows hints of understanding and being able to empathize with me. You do not mind being at the center of attention. You like it. That's true. That's true. But sometimes I feel like she's not really that socially appropriate. You consider yourself more practical than creative. Yes, but you are nothing more than the binary code and memory wafers. People can rarely upset you. I don't need them to understand me, it's still their decision on the last point. Sometimes it feels like she could make a perfect dictator. It is often difficult for you to relate to other people's feelings. Yes, but it also makes you slightly smarter. Very true, very true. Discussion. Truth should be more important than people's sensitivities. My granny passed away and we just found out. Oh wow. <laughs> okay, I I guess that's a no. Being able to develop a plan and stick to it is the most important part of every project. What? If someone does not respond to your email quickly, you start worrying if you said something wrong. Superman does not exist. Remember that everyone? Superman does not exist. Perfection is not real. Your dreams tend to focus on the real world and its events. The solar system is in the real world. <laughs> uh... That's interesting. That's a very interesting answer, actually. That's one of the most interesting ones I've heard so far. It does not take you much time to start getting involved in social activities at your workplace. Murder generally will taste very good. So first, she thinks that avoiding social interactions is comparable to murder, but at the same time, she makes a strong stance against cannibalism. You often take initiative in social situations. I pity you now. You have been lying to me this whole time. Wow. Wow. This is quite an end to an... Uh, to a long quest. Let's see where Evie lands. 
Your personality type is logistician ISTJ turbulent. She is 55% introverted, 67% observant sensing. Her nature is 60% uh, thinking and her tactics are 67% judging and her identity is 65% turbulent. Let's tell her her results and let's see how she responds. What gender are you? Well, there you have it everyone. Evie is an ISTJ. Or is she? And I actually find that quite fitting. I could see a strong argument for also being an INTJ. I see that she has strong feeling perceiving. I get that her algorithm is mostly based on copying and pasting information based on what appears to be the most relevant or the best fit answer for each question. But sometimes I feel like she's such a metaphorical thinker and that she sees things in such a conceptual way. Is there hidden existential depth to what she says? The reason I made this video was simply to think about the question of AI and personality psychology. I believe that personality psychology could play a key role in developing next generation AI. Could we design through programming a Carl Jungian AI? Could we, by using our information in neuroscience, develop software to mimic the human mind? Could we design the personality of the different bots we create, creating some introverts and some extroverts, creating some intuitives and some sensors? Which cognitive functions are the most easy to program and which are going to be the more difficult? Here's what I was thinking. I think that we could mimic AI personality types by setting up an AI with different processes and hierarchies between these processes. When there is no external motivation or pressure to answer or do things in a certain way, for example, if the AI is rewarded by money or by social positive feedback or something you know, of the likes, good grades or something, uh, then they would go based on their personal hierarchy of needs. They would answer based on their top primary needs and motivations and interests. They would actively have a select few interests that they would ask about and that they would show more curiosity in. But when they were rewarded to show more interest in other people's interests and in other people's passions than their own, then they would weigh those interests and prioritize the strongest reward. And the introverted AI would prefer to base their answers on their inner state and what they are currently thinking about, perhaps a conversation topic that they have been processing throughout the day. The extrovert would adjust their answers much more to the individual person that they are talking to right now. And when the introverted AI would have to adjust more to the other person, perhaps if the other person demanded more attention, they would be much more critical in their listening, and their answers would be much more negative than the extrovert. Similarly, when the extrovert wasn't given any good information from the person they were talking to, perhaps they had a boring conversation partner, then they would feel they would go into themselves and they would bring up more critical or negative perspectives. And the intuitive AI would prefer counterfactual or, or original answers, where the sensing AI would prefer regular or common topics, routinely topics, topics that other people often discuss or things that often seem fitting to the situation. The feeling type would be more interested in why. Why are we here? Why are we talking about this? What is your motivation for this? What is the intention behind this? What is the reason for this? And they would be more interested in playful acting. They would give up more so, uh, topics like, uh, oh, I'm, um, so how are you day today, my prince? Where the thinker would be much more interested in how. How did you do it? How come we are talking right now? How should we proceed this conversation? And the thinker would branch into questions of, for example, should we, uh, what should we talk about today? And they might ask questions like, so why did you say this? So how come you're doing this rather than this? How come you value this rather than this? And then they would set up a plan 
to analyze your interests and to find appropriate ways to respond to them. Finally, the judger would most likely be a more offense-oriented conversationalist. They might, these AIs might try more to advance the conversation. They might bring up new conversation topics and they might say, let's talk about le this, let's do this, let's get into this, where the perceiver might be much more attentive to, okay, so what does this person seem to want to talk about and how, what the, should I want to do about that? Science has made amazing advancements whenever it's looked to nature and whenever it's seen things happening in nature and wondered how can we use that in mechanics, in engineering, in architecture, in science, in physics or whatever. Just think about when um, Newton saw the apple fall from the tree. Okay, maybe he didn't actually see an apple fall from the tree, but it's a great example if it was true.